Thank you very much. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Who here, by show of hands, has actually seen a TED Talk? Okay, good. Many of us are familiar. I'm going to explain TED Talks, make sure we're all very clear about what they are. TED Talks began in 1984, one conference. Since then, it's grown to thousands. Over one billion people have watched a TED Talk. The motto of TED is ideas worth spreading. They're 18 minute talks, and they're held physically at an on-site location, but also then they're launched to the YouTube and TED channel world. You never know where you might end up. Because TED Talks have grown, now they have also turned to what we call TEDx events. And TEDx events are the independent TED conferences, the smaller ones. You have TED Global, the big dog, but you also have TEDx Dubai, TEDx San Francisco, TEDx Berlin, and TEDx Raleigh. The genesis of this talk really has come from a lot of people asking me, well, how do I become a TEDx speaker? So I'm going to share with you my recommendation, not TEDx or TED sanction, but my personal recommendation on what I feel could be a roadmap for you on how to be selected as a TEDx speaker. So if that sounds good, say yes. 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 All right. Good. And my experience with TED has been on a couple planning teams. I served initially as the director of volunteers for TEDx Raleigh a few years ago. Most recently served as the speaker coach for TEDx High Point which was last weekend, and most proudly, and I had the great opportunity of serving as a speaker for TEDx Wake Forest back in spring 2013. So with my experience, again, I'm just going to share some thoughts with how to be selected as a TEDx speaker. So this is a map of the world. I don't know if you can see it very well. This is on the TED website. And just for some perspective, this is an empty map of the world. This is where you have all of your TED events. The green events are events still to occur in 2014. The red X's are where TEDx events have actually already been held. Very impressive. They're all over the world. Thousands of TEDx events. Billion people watch TEDx every single year. So the perspective I'm going to focus on is, is the TEDx component. Because that's where it starts. To be considered for a TED talk, you have to do a TEDx talk that really catches on. Kind of has a groundswell. TEDx events can be large, like this. Large auditorium with hundreds if not thousands of people. Or they can also be small, more quaint. Less than 100 people. In fact, as an organizer for your first event, or for your first TEDx event, it can only be up to 100 people. And after you prove that that event works, then you can actually go to a bigger venue. Anyone can be a TEDx speaker if you have the idea. You have a young girl here, older gentleman here. Anyone can be a TEDx speaker. Some of the talks that you'll see from TEDx, people ask, well, what kind of talk can I do? Well, let me ask you, what do you know? What is your idea? And here are some of the top 20 ideas, the most popular TED Talks. This is from TED.com itself. Here, in the most popular, the most viewed talk is actually by Sir Ken Robinson, who shared with us a paradigm and an insight about how schools actually kill creativity. Very interesting talk, and within 18 minutes, You'll probably be challenged about your viewpoints of creativity in the schools and whether it actually supports or hinders that. So, again, just an idea. People can take it for what it's worth, but one person sharing it, and when you watch it, you'll see why it's gotten so many hits. Another talk on body language. Many of you have probably seen The Golden Circle, The Power of, of Why, Simon Sinek. Guess how he got so popular? Ted Talk. Here's some other TED Talks. 10 things you did not know about orgasm. <laughs> I've watched this a few times. 
<laughs> Tony <laughs> Robbins, why we do what we do. You've heard of Tony Robbins, and even here, Dan Pink, the puzzle of motivation. Now, some of these names you'll know. For example, probably Tony Robbins or Dan Pink. But the point is, anybody can still speak. It's about the idea. This is a picture of when I spoke at TEDx Wake Forest. I spoke at a facility where it had about 1,400 people. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. Wonderful, but also very intimidating. Now, this is my YouTube picture. I got up to over 400,000 views, and then for some reason, it got taken off YouTube. Probably had something to do with the copyright issue that I had, but they never answered my concerns, so I just reposted it. I'd already ripped it, and I just posted it myself, and now I've been hovering. It's actually up to 30 now, but the point is, you never know who's watching you across the world. And my talk was titled, The Ripple Effect, How One Person Can Inspire Change. So, TEDx, the most important thing that you need to be able to answer is this. What idea do I have? What do I know that other people don't? It could be something that you have, have thought about. It could be something you've created. It could be something that you've designed. It could be anything. But it has to be something, a concept, an idea worth spreading that most people, if not anyone, doesn't know about already. And that's why you're there to share that idea, share that concept and help other people be educated on what it is that, that you know within 18 minutes. If it goes over 18 minutes, you'll never get posted. What is your idea worth spreading? So, three things to think about. Three things to think about. If you can do these three things, you're ready to go. Number one, why do you want to speak at TEDx? Now, by trade, I am a motivational speaker, right? However, TEDx is not about motivational speaking. In fact, motivational speakers, if they know you're one, they probably will not even select you. So you probably want to talk and share content with them about the idea. You know, when I pitched TEDx, I applied to over 15 different TEDx events. I got no after no after no after no after no. Even had people tell me you're a motivational speaker, weren't interested. And I finally woke up to one morning from TEDx Wake Forest, and they said, this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for something with a little bit more energy on this topic, and it also fit their theme. So why do you want to speak? Is it, of course it's going to help us all personally and professionally, but the focus with this, it really, you need to anchor, would be, what is it that I know that I want to share? Second, again, what is your idea of spread? What is your idea that nobody else now, this is the theme, obviously, as you've heard me say it a few times. And then thirdly, be able to provide a description of your talk, an outline of your talk, and even sample videos. I've seen very, I've seen several TED organizers have a call for programs. I've seen some that haven't. And I, to be honest, I don't know how they select their speakers if they don't have a call for programs. But for the ones that do, they will ask you, well, what is your idea? Give us an outline of your talk. Mm -hmm sample videos of you speaking, and anything else about you that you'd like to share. It can be as simple as that. So if you already have that prepared, now you're ready to go. Now, here's what I would recommend to find a TEDx opportunity. It's pretty simple. If you go to TED.com, T-E-D, TED.com, click on the 10, and this is what you'll find. You'll see this shot. Now, here is a map of North Carolina, I simply put in here, North Carolina, I'm going to ask you what state, what city, what area. I put North Carolina in right here. I know it's a little tough to see, but I also typed in, I left the month blank, but I kept the year open. And what I found was a whole list of all the events in 2014, both past and upcoming. It was 21 events. So if you want to find out what's left in in, 20, in 2014 or early 2015, you simply indicate that right there. So once you find the events, you click on each individual event. And it will give you a variety of information here. There's, there's not like, this is for an event actually in 2015, so there's not a lot of information posted yet. But you'll see what is posted is who the organizer is. 
Sometimes they'll list their contact information. Sometimes they don't. In this case, they did not. However, it tells you who they are and where they work. Pretty easy to find their email address after that. So you might have to do a little bit of mining, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of research, but you'll find very easily how I can contact each organizer for each TEDx event, and then what it is that you think you might do from there. Simply contact and inquire if they're having a call for programs for speakers, if they're still in that process. If so, you love the opportunity to consider send them your information. Now, very important, if they have a theme, you want to find out if they have a theme. And that way you want to tailor your talk to fit their theme so that they feel, wow, this talk is perfect for our theme. Wow. Shocker. It takes a little bit of energy to do that, but it'd be well worth it. It'd be well worth it. So this is for the TEDx that's at NCSSM, which is North Carolina School of Science and Math. So just some ideas for you to think about if you have that desire and that interest to be a TED speaker, a TED talk. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have, but in the spirit of TED, if you have an idea we're sharing, then it needs to be heard. So good luck. Kevin was filling in for Stephanie, who had to bow out today, so thank you for doing that. Does anybody have questions? We have